Have you received this mysterious survey from Lyft? Xbox, Twitter, Uber, Postmates, One Note, Netflix, Movie Pass, Lyft, Google, Facebook, eBay, DoorDash, Apple, Amazon, Airbnb, The Entrepreneur. Hey everyone, this is Kevin the Entrepreneur, and I don't really know what today's video is going to be about. I mean, I, I really don't. Somebody sent me this link to a Lyft website and said this was a mysterious survey that Lyft had been sending out to a bunch of people. I don't even know if I'm going to post this video. I mean, like, if you're watching it, obviously I did. But if you're not, then, well, I guess you're not watching it. But I, I'm kind of curious what this is about. Um, apparently, they only sent this out to several people. Well, several people, like, you know, like, maybe... A couple thousand people, who knows. Um, and it says, recently you were introduced to a new way to earn with Lyft. Instead of starting to earn when you pick up a passenger, you now start earning as soon as you tap accept and drive to get the passenger. So I can tell already this is going to be a very interesting survey. So we're going to like do this live. I don't know what this survey entails yet. I looked at this and I decided, you know what? Start filming. Let's see where it goes. I, I just don't know. So let's see what this is about. Which statement best describes how familiar you are with this change and how you earn when driving with Lyft? Um, I have been tracking my earnings closely to understand the change. I watch my earnings but haven't been tracking it closely. I heard there was a change but haven't paid much attention. I didn't realize there was a change. Now, technically I'm not driving so this puts me in an awkward position. But considering I do pay attention to the rates, I I'm going to say that uh, because... Uh, well, maybe this is more fair. Like, I watch my earnings, but haven't been tracking it closely, because it's not like I'm doing mile by mile like some of you guys are. So let's continue. How much do you like the change in how you earn with Lyft? Well, I don't have to drive to know I dislike it very much. I mean, 35 cents a mile? Come on. Why do you feel this way? Because... 35 cents a mile is an insulting wage to make when people's lives are in my hands. Have you changed anything about your driving behavior since this change? Mm, technically, technically no. I, I would like to say yes, like I don't drive at all anymore. But that happened a long time before this change, so we, we want to be honest about that. Are you driving more during morning and evening rush hours than you did before this change? I can definitely say no. Do you also drive with Uber? Mm, technically, I do. At least I have the option to. How has this change affected when you drive with Uber? Um, so this is interesting. I, I kind of was, was hoping at this point they'd be asking, has this affected your driving with Lyft at all? But uh, um, I guess technically I'm driving the same hours with Uber, which is zero. How has this change affected how much you drive with Lyft? Um, see, this puts me in a pickle. I really want to say I am driving less hours with Lyft. Because I kind of suspect, I'm now starting to see exactly what this survey is. This survey is Lyft basically trying to see how much, um, how much less or how much more you're driving because of the new change. And um, here's the thing, I, I just, uh, uh, yeah, um, but if I say I am driving the same hours as Lyft, I would be dis. Uh, or if I say I'm driving less hours with Lyft than I did before this change, I'd be dishonest. Um, since the new pay structure was introduced, how have your overall earnings changed when driving with Lyft? Now, here's the thing. Even though I'm not driving with Lyft, I'm going to say earn a lot less. Since this change, have you accepted rides that have longer distance pickups than you would have before the change? No, that's true, and it would be true even if I was driving. On long distance pickups, how often has the passenger canceled before arriving at the pickup address? Uh, I would say 50%, maybe. Let, let's go with that. As a result of these recent changes, how much do you agree or disagree with each statement? 
I feel more in control of my earnings when driving with Lyft. Strongly disagree. Getting paid when I tap accept is a more fair way of earning. I, uh, I actually agree with that. I trust that Lyft is making this change to help drivers like me. I strongly disagree. My earnings from week to week is less volatile. Um, neutral, because, yeah, they haven't changed, but haven't been anything. So, this change is an improvement over the old rate card. Strongly disagree. My earnings are more predictable. Mm, that's a tough one. It really is. Uh, it's really hard for your earnings to be predictable, but they are predictably lower. I'm going to be neutral on that one. What is your overall satisfaction driving with less? Well, pretty dissatisfied, to be honest. How has your satisfaction changed since this new way to earn with Lyft? Less satisfied. I am less satisfied, even though I'm not driving. Is there anything else you would like to tell us about this change? We value your feedback and read every comment. Well, let's let's put on the line. I have technically not driven for Lyft in over a year. Your rates were too low then. They are far too low now. I would love to drive for Lyft again. I really enjoyed it, true story, um, and would like to go back to making money doing what I love. But I can't under these under the current rates you offer. Let's which were bad before but have gotten so much worse since. Continue. Survey completed. Thank you. So I don't know what they're going to do with this survey, um, but tell you what, I'm going to leave the link to the survey below. Um, maybe you want to take a crack at it. I don't know. Uh, yeah, so uh, it's interesting that they're surveying us about this now. Kind of wish they would do this before they cut the rates, but I, I guess it is what it is. Um, you know what this might kind of suggest to me, though? I'm thinking, I mean, and I've done a couple videos about this already, how Lyft drivers were leaving the platform in droves. I think this survey might actually suggest that that is more true than we realize. I, I think they're actually now trying to gauge how many drivers who are willing to take the survey are truly that unhappy. So if you're a driver and you want to let your voice be known on that one, again, I'm going to leave the link below. Hopefully, hopefully someone reads something like that. Um, oh, and here's another thing. That is all the questions we have. Thank you for your opinions. You are now entered in the sweepstakes to win one of five twenty-five dollar Visa gift cards. You, you, they didn't ask for my personal information. They, they didn't ask for an email address, a name, a phone number. I. How are they going to give out that prize? <sighs> whatever. Okay, whatever. So you know, by the time you're watching this video, I'm actually going to be getting married tonight. So, <laughs> uh, I, I don't. This was just like a little quick thing. Or heck, maybe it'll go up Tuesday and I'll already be married. I. I I don't know. So anyway, what do you folks think about this? Uh, the survey's below. Also, comment below. Like, favorite, share, subscribe. If you enjoy my, um, if you enjoy my videos, consider becoming a Patreon member. It's totally optional, of course, but even as little as one dollar a month goes a long way to helping the channel run smoothly, and you get access to my Patreon's exclusive blog. Also, if gas prices are getting just a little down, check out Get Get Upside below. It's totally free, but you get cash back on every gas purchase. If you want more content from me that's not rides related, check us out at the Kevin T. Rodriguez Entrepreneur Vlogs and Autograph. Hound um, YouTube channels. And if you want to talk to me or other fellow rideshare drivers in general, check us out on Facebook at the Entrepreneur Hangouts. Uh, just And also check us out to look up for details on that contest. We're offering up to $500 for new logo and intro. And as always, flame responsibly. Have a good one.